pick these threes up a little bit. Hi George, so thanks for having us out here for your uh, indoor workout today. No um, worries mate, pleasure pleasure to be on. But it's only been two weeks. Yeah. But I did 1 800 48 14808, uh, 15 3389, and then Saturday in Birmingham 336 0. That was a big run yeah, on Saturday. It was a big one, yeah. I so that's it. the is that the world indoor standard as well? Well, the standard or? was 339. Okay. So I think it, for the 15, it was quite generous compared to all the other events. Yeah. Like the other events seem a lot, a lot harder in terms of like time-wise. So yeah, I had the 15 from the first first race, but yeah, 36 so, was so nice, nice to run an overall you're well PB under indoors. Then. Yeah. And then into British Champs this weekend. Yeah. And just got a light light workout today, just yeah. to, just to tick over before before that. So what workout have we got today then? So I've got 1K and then a minute's rest and then four 400s and three um, and four 300s off 45 seconds. So just short recovery stuff, just getting the legs moving a little bit towards the end. Yeah, and you feel like you've recovered well since Saturday then? Yeah, feel, All feeling good. feel really good. Yeah, I had, a, had an easy, easy-ish long run, 15K on on Sunday morning and got got in the normal text and stuff, got a bit of recovery and physio yesterday, so yeah, body's feeling body's feeling quite good. Good. And the uh, the other exciting news you've just recently signed with on yeah, as well. As of January the first signed with them, took a while to announce it, but yeah, it's good good to be part of the team. Exciting, yeah. We'll we'll talk shoes I suppose once you're putting them on. Yeah. Um, but yeah so you've well, I've got the, the cloud stratus on can, now. Okay. My every everyday mileage shoe yeah. warm ups, cool downs, yeah. So really, and there's some rumours about their new marathon shoes, their new spikes, and everything that's coming. So I think everyone's a bit excited for that. I'm sure you maybe know more you than should, we you do. Should, but you should keep yourselves posted. I'm yeah. on, doing something pretty cool fairly soon. We're looking so. forward to it. So uh, training this winter, uh, how have you? How soon did you switch into track mode uh, off kind of the winter base miles? How long has it been now? So to be honest, I've not really come off it too much. Yeah, I was. If I'm honest, I was really, really surprised with running 3:36. I knew I was fit. I've done a few decent road 10k's around 29:30, I think. So I was pretty knew yeah. I was knew I was fit, but I really wasn't wasn't sure with the, the track shape I was in, especially with changing coach and deciding to do a bit of work but to be honest I've just been doing a base work for for a long time and no real intense track sessions and stuff so so you're yes. still on quite a high weekly mileage at the moment then not not in terms of high just more freshening up and letting the races be the intense part of the yeah. training okay more so so training's just more like ticking over getting enough of a stimulus yeah for the races that are coming i suppose this time of year it's all about building towards outdoors for you anyway really exactly like just with the bonus i didn't really want to do i always take a bit of convincing to do indoors i'm never never really want to do it i'm kind of like oh, i'd rather just keep training wait for wait for summer but obviously coach coaches make you do that sort of indoors thing has been kind to you though you won british champs last yeah, year indoors, indoors, so. i've had a i've had a decent run of it indoors so I shouldn't I shouldn't complain too much yeah yeah but yeah so maybe Maybe that's why they make me do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a reason for it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you. If you're on 32s, you'll slow down, won't you? Yeah. So are you picking up the pace through the session? Is it kind of, yeah. I'm so, I'm, so I'm targets maybe like 245 for the K, then 62s, 63s for the four and then 43, 44 for the threes. So really nothing, yeah. nothing spectacular today. Just just get, get it done. So what else will you do later this week for British Champs? Is, uh, so, uh, I, so this morning I had 8K run, yeah. bit a of, bit of gym work. And then tomorrow I'll just have easy, easy 10K Thursday, three day, day off. And yeah. then Friday, bit of prep work. And then yeah. Saturday, the heat. the heat. So good to go. Look forward to it. Jack. Alright, 
left all good so far 241 for the k and you're on quite like an active jog recovery then yeah keep uh, things moving yeah have you got a target jog. time for that or is it just jog? 45 seconds ah, okay um yeah and then 61s 62s for the fours so bang on just pick these threes up a little bit Quick one, yeah. It's good. The 300 looks looks uh, tough enough. Get get rolling towards the end. Yeah, 42s, a couple of them. So yeah. That's down around. That's 1500 pace for you, just about. Not not quite actually. No, a bit quicker. Yeah. A bit too quick at the moment. If you're running 330, good. Pretty happy with those times and yeah, yeah. good feeling. Good practice here as well, ready. dodging a bit of traffic. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. good to get get ready for good some tactical for races racing, for yeah. the heats. Been, All jokes aside, it probably does. Yeah, it, yeah. you've got to stay very, uh, very aware of what's going on there. Have to wiggle about a bit, run a bit higher sometimes. Yeah, good. Good fun. Yeah, so do you, for indoor races, do you plan your tactics more, you would say, than, than for an outdoor race? Do you have a discussion with your coach, or how do you go about I always, that? always have a discussion with coach, but it's, um, it's difficult to have, like, one bang-on specific tactic, because there's usually 12 guys in a race with, like, a million variables. It can happen, so... I think the thing for me is just try to execute what works for you the best as possible. Yeah. Right, so. so you're wearing heart rate for those sessions too, is that something you look at? Yeah, uh, I, always, I always wear always wear heart rate, yeah. it's just good to, good to monitor and check and especially with the active recoveries it's just nice to see like how, how low you can get it or how high you can keep it depending on yeah. the aim. But, and have you uh, done any lactate testing training? Or? Yeah, I've done a few, yeah, yeah usually. Usually coaches out in the session yeah. are getting it, so gives us a telling off if we're too high. Yeah. Yeah. Been there a few times. Yeah, it's been used more right. and more now in um, yeah. in the session. So But yeah, today I get away with that one, so I just got to go off how I was feeling, which was pretty good. Just got a telling off running there. I was about to ask you is is this a secret to success? 
well, just quite a nice feeling with it. Over in South Africa quite a bit, on the grass and I don't really get much chanting in the UK. For a 2k cool down you get the, Go for it. Get the shoes off. But Have you been in South Africa this winter then? Yeah, so I did. I've been away quite a bit, so I did um, September in Fontremeau before Abu Dash for a month. And then had two weeks in Dolstrom in November before we had to emergency fly back because of Omicron. <laughs> and then I spent, um, I spent January there as well. So yeah, quite a bit. So quite you find you respond altitude. quite well to altitude then? Yeah, I, I knew that from the past, obviously in the last last year and a half, it's been really difficult <coughs> to access it yeah. with all the travel restrictions and stuff. So not been able to do it, but this year, fortunately been able to really really get on top of that and, and push So it. you plan to go away again in between indoors and outdoors? Oh yeah, 100%, yeah. 99% sure it'll be back to South Africa yeah. for a bit. A bit more of the, the sunshine and altitude, which is always a good combo. Yeah. yeah. Cool down done, shoes on. Yep. Session went well, and uh, now it's all focused on the weekend. Yeah, go back, chill out. I'm gonna maybe try and get some tactics out of you. Nah. <laughs> No, look, we're looking forward to it. Um, yeah. So, what is it? Heats on Saturday and finals. Heats on Sunday. at five to five on Saturday, and then if we get through that. Obviously, it's never, never a given. You've always got to execute, and then hopefully final on Sunday. I think it's about quarter past three. So, I think by the time this comes out on YouTube, it'll all be over. 20. We could maybe, we could maybe do a little review after. Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. On well, we, we've got to get back to you at some point when, um, when on, uh, have got some new shoes and new kit for you because yeah, yeah. it seems like yeah, we're going to well, have a lot to talk about there. Well, they're what I wear at the moment. Cloud Stratus mileage shoe. Really, I do really like it. Probably really like proper support. If you can run quick, I'll easily knock out like 350Ks for a long run or something like that. You can like go quick if you need. And then Cloud Boom Echoes, which are my like threshold tempo shoe. Could yeah. have worn them for the session today, but it's just nice to get, get a pair of spikes on and get, get flowing a little bit more. Are you